good morning. Actually, it's a good afternoon. Uh, I've been hanging out in the same spot here. I uh, caught up on my edits, which means I am only a couple days behind uh, current real life. So when this goes up on the 2nd of October, it's the last day of November. It's Thursday right now. Anyways, I'm over here in this uh, rainforest and it's not raining. I uh, was kind of hoping it was going to rain, but you know, you just never can control nature. But uh, we're going to go on a hike, I believe. We're going to head back over to the lake where there was fog the other day. Because uh, uh, this is a rainforest in North America, I believe. Not the only one, but it's at a certain uh, latitude. And it gets over 12 feet of rain every single year. That's nuts. So um, let's go check it out. Sometimes strange It's a long turns out the way you think But if you want some good Got a nice little parking spot. Here is a trail map. Looks like I'm gonna go on something called the Gatton Creek Trail in the rainforest. Well, that's a resort, but all this area and I believe a larger part is the rainforest. Um, so we're gonna go up here Possibly check out a falls. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way for love. <laughs> I just jumped about two feet. Oh, there, there's a frog right there. He's jumping through the rainforest here. There he is. Check out all this moss growing on the tree. It looks like there are <laughs> ferns growing on a tree along with the moss and uh, some fungus down here as well. Uh, this seems, I know there's gotta be, and also, whoa, look at that slug right there. I think that's a slug. Holy cow. And I know there's a term, um, I forgot because I haven't been watching my nature shows that much, but there's a term for when plants and animals, they kind of like grow together and depend on each other. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool out here. And maybe bring the flowers on a weekday. Go see an old There's fungus among us. Find out why the heart is gleaming now. incredible literally anything that touches the ground is covered with moss even the ground itself and uh, this area is still wet it's almost like it just keeps on kind of leaking and I believe that this probably acts as a kind of water barrier evaporation barrier and uh, it just stays wet out here, even when it hasn't rained in, you know, a couple days. Here we are. Here's the uh, nice little waterfall, not too far away from the parking lot, I would guess and say. It is uh, half a mile to three quarters of a mile. Um, let's go out on the bridge. Ooh, wow. Look at how nice and beautiful this is. Nice gentle waterfalls, 
And uh, as you can see, some very, very old trees, which are dead, are still standing out here, which is pretty cool. That's uh, one thing I really do like about the uh, national forests and national parks. They're so protected that you get to see everything as it is, including some of the decay, which naturally exists. But uh, I believe they clear the forest for, um, for fire hazards and things like that. So this is, uh, this is absolutely stunning right here. This is the uh, halfway point, the turnaround point. Um, like I said, I got a late start, so we're gonna drive on out of this rainforest with no rain <laughs> and get down towards the, pe the beach. And uh, also, I need to restock on uh, some food and things like that because all I had today was uh, protein powder and water. And also, guys, just like Orange County, watch out for cougars. They're everywhere and they can be aggressive. Wish that I could stay After I clean the lens a little bit, it looks hazy. Okay. So the road update, a large truck goes by. Okay, great, so as you guys know, I mentioned that I am shooting a web series that looks like it's going forward middle of October, which is like in two weeks from now, about. Uh, also, I have a voiceover job for a project I shot four to six years ago. Uh, well, better late than never, I suppose. Um, so, for you guys uh, wondering how I make money, well, there you go, that's part of it. Although it is rather inconsistent, but it will help a little bit. It'll definitely fill up the tank a few times. Uh, right now, we are about uh, 20 minutes to half an hour from the beach. Um, and I vaguely remember someone saying, hey, uh, once you get up there, you should go check out Ruby Beach. So that's where we're gonna go right now. All right, so after a brief drive, oh my goodness no wonder people told me to come here we're at Ruby Beach check this out there is driftwood on driftwood on driftwood on driftwood <laughs> on driftwood oh my god is this normal for the Pacific Northwest I feel like this is a, a special place I don't think I've seen this much driftwood uh, in one place, especially the size of these, whoa, almost fell, um, especially the size of these logs, they're massive, it's awesome. No wonder I saw a bunch of photographers uh, walking up as I was walking down, it's almost a little bit too late to do some photography, but uh, shoot, I don't know, maybe we'll come back in the morning, this is a pretty cool place. I don't know if this is a river, but this is definitely fresh water or salt and fresh water mixed together. And uh, it smells like somebody got a little fire down there and uh, is um, taking some medicine, if you know what I mean. Now the closer to the ocean you go, you'll notice that the color of the driftwood changes, probably because it's fresher and uh, I don't know, washed ashore more recently. But man, there is so much driftwood here, it's awesome. They should, they should rename this place Driftwood Beach.
case, if you're driving up the Washington coast, definitely, definitely put this on your list. I just wish I had a bit more time and a bit more light um, so I can properly show you guys how cool this place is, but hopefully you guys get a good idea or just look it up on Google or whatever. Um, I think since I'm kind of, I kind of ran out of food and I would imagine things close early, I'm going to jump back in the uh, bus and try and find uh, a grocery store. Uh, somewhere I can get a little food because I'm hungry. By the way, if you guys come, walking closer to the water over there is much easier than uh, jumping over all these logs like I'm about to do. It is uh, quite tricky and uh, if this, I should say, if and when this stuff gets wet, it's probably extremely slippery. found a grocery store. I got a bunch of these canned soups. And look what Campbell's is trying to do. I'm trying to be all healthy. I got minestrone with kale and a bunch of other things. Non-BPA lining, no preservatives, and two-thirds of a cup veggies. Um, get Campbell's for that. Usually I get my soup at the health food store, or I try to. Um, I'm in a little town. I think it's called La Push. I don't know. Um, Let's find a place to sleep for the night. Success! This is what I'm talking about. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm just on a, uh, probably a forest road or a logging road or something like that. Nobody's around. And my motto is if nobody's uh, around, nobody's around to care. So this is where I'm staying tonight. This is my spot. I'll show you guys uh, more tomorrow, but just take my word for it. I'm surrounded by trees. Whoop, where'd the light go? Let's try that again. I'm surrounded by trees. For any boondockers who are interested in finding this location, it is between Forks and La Push. All right, here we go. This is dinner tonight. Uh, just a veg frozen vegetable mix and a can of this natural uh, soup stuff. Just gonna mix it together. Got my uh, pot going on. I'm gonna call it a night. I just wanna say thank you sincerely for watching me. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you spending it with me. See you guys on the road tomorrow.